Price hits the thrift store, run down to Bloody Hollywood, home on a budget. If you want to be like the backdrop of this looks so familiar, well, it's because, once again, I'm sitting at the counter of the Mark Twain Diner in Union. I just got done reviewing this for the 4th of July edition of Travel Wise Tuesdays, and I figured it is America's birthday, so I bring along a special birthday gift from Canada. I know, what are the odds? Uh, but really, the menu here online, at least on regular days, has a special children's menu that's all centered around kids' TV shows. Like a Sesame Street and Popeye the Sailor, if you can classify that as a kids' TV show. And even Max and Ruby. No, I'm not kidding. They have a Max and Ruby children's menu item. I believe it's two super dollar pancakes with butter and syrup. I'm actually taping this on Father's Day, so they have a special Father's Day menu that omits the children's menu, but I'll put up a screen capture of that menu, the regular menu, at the end of this so you can see it. Anyway, it all comes together in the review of Max's birthday. That's right, adapted from an episode of Max and Ruby. I picked this kid's book up for 25% off 99 cents back home at Unique in Patterson. It retails up north, I assume, for $5.99. It was priced at a TJ Maxx somewhere for $3.99. That's $2 less. It's published by Key Porter Kids. Of course, that's a Canadian imprint. So let's open them up. And yes, what is a birthday of any kind without cake? And we'll get to the cake I'm having in a moment. So anyway, the story, if you haven't seen the episode before, goes like this. So it was Max's birthday. He got presents from family members. But when he opened up the last present, a red lined up lobster toy, Max is frightened to high heaven. He runs away and the lobster follows him all around the place, terrorizing him in the process. He is scared to death of this lobster. He even goes so far as to snatch up the last piece of birthday cake right here. That dastardly lobster, he ruins it, tears it all to shreds. Just as Ruby thought that this lobster would have to go in the garbage or be returned to the store, a miracle happens. The lobster crawls on Max's tummy and starts to tickle him with his many feet. And that's the end of that. Just like Ross and Rachel, Max learns to love his lobster. You think I wasn't going to make that reference? <laughs> uh, Max loves all his birthday presents except this new wind-up lobster. But whatever Max scopes, the lobster follows. What's a young buddy to do? Savor every moment with his new lobster. I wonder if he named it Ross or Rachel. Whatever case, this gets uh, five claps. The story is faithful to the episode, and the illustrations here well, they look like they were directly captured from the episode itself. Max Ruby was one of my favorite cartoons growing up when I was a kid. So, with that said, I think this buddy hop is definitely the tops. And again, what's a birthday without cake? <laughs> Specifically, chocolate mousse cake. Ah, happy birthday America. And shout out Canada for the American iconoclast of children's TV, Max and Ruby. Bless Ross and Caillou. Let's see any lobster try and take this one away from me. I'm gonna be famous. Kid, stop not playing with you. Stop. Stop it. Kaylin! I want to play with you, Kaylin! Baby! Baby, 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 baby! You're such a big baby! 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 Baby, baby stop! Kaylin! Stop it! Dia! Dia! Kaylin's bothering me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Stop! 
Kaylin! Stop! Check out more to yourself by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.